Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. The fast travel in Red Dead Redemption 2 is so goddamn slow. Let's say you want to go from Saint Denis up to Valentine and start that first mission in the saloon. Well, you gotta buy a train ticket, watch the train, watch the sky, watch the train again, get off the train, and then walk to the saloon, which takes a full one minute and 52 seconds. <laughs> oh, there has got to be a faster way to travel. And so I installed a new telekinesis mod technology that lets me fling people's body across the land at incredibly high speeds. Is it safe? No, not really, but it's very fast. And today we're gonna find out, can I fling someone from San Denis to Valentine faster than an actual goddamn train? I hired Arthur Morgan to be our test subject for this brand new technology. I'm paying him $3. We're gonna start him here in the same train station and fly him all the way to Valentine. And once he starts the mission in the saloon, the timer will stop. Let's beat this train. Three, two, one. Oh! Wrong door! It actually did work! And we're out of here! Okay. Only 10 seconds in, and we're already almost out of San Denis. Now our first task is to get out of the city. We gotta find a side street without too many people, and then we will be out into the swamps. Alright, so I think just going through the sw Ugh, swamp makes sense. Also, Arthur seems like he's not handling this very well. He is alive, technically. After the swamp land, we'll be entering the forest. Okay, we are out of San Denis. Actually, this is... This is doable, I think. And now, after all this, you are almost at Valentine, unless I flung Arthur, like, the completely wrong way. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Oh! Where the hell am I? Okay, so I went straight north. I pretty much went as far off course as you could go. So, first step, we gotta make sure to set a map marker at Valentine, so we aim correctly. Okay, now there's something for me to follow. I honestly feel like I can beat it, right? Like, I got here. This is very doable. Three, two, one. Oh! Alright, let's go up through the street this time. Excuse me. Okay, I gotta, I gotta turn left. I went way too north last time. Now, we can use the minimap like a compass to keep Arthur's body on track. So I gotta just play really well. Now the new problem is all these goddamn trees. Okay, maybe I avoid the forest in the future. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. And this fence. Oh, there's a fence. Shit. People don't like us flinging Arthur's body through their property. But for now, just stay away from these farms and the forests and head for the big open plains much faster. This is doable. This is 100% doable. It's gonna be close though, I think. Well, oh, there's Valentine. There's Valentine. Dude, one, one minute, 10 seconds. That's two seconds later. Two seconds later than fast travel to get to the train station. I just gotta get into the saloon. We've made it all the way to Valentine. Now just get into the saloon and start the mission. Okay, this will be a little tough. I gotta get in the doors. What if we're precise enough? We don't miss. Just get him in the saloon. Shit! I can't get in the doors! Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, we're in the saloon. Fuck! Might not beat it! Okay, the good news is that you got into the saloon. The bad news, we broke like 30 laws on our way in the saloon and terrified everybody, which which means the mission won't actually start. Like, you can't start a mission if you've broken any laws. So, back to the drawing board. First off, we've got to be way more accurate with Arthur's body going into the saloon. No slamming into buildings, because that way we don't break any laws before getting to the mission starting point. We can break laws after. Also, Arthur filed an HR complaint because we shattered his arms and his legs. But just give him a little whiskey. He'll be fine. All right, he's good. Now let's go beat a train. I, I keep not looking at the mini-map because I'm staring at the, like, trees coming at me. Whoa! Okay, high time. <laughs> it's nothing on the keyboard. Reminder that pets are not allowed on the flinging service. Wait, is this Valentine? Oh, shit! Okay, okay, we're almost there. Am I in trouble? Can I just, can I start the mission? Can I start the mission? I've got 20 seconds. I just gotta get into the saloon. Ooh! Shit, 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 shit. All right, we broke the we broke, broke a lot of laws again. But look, with dedication, we will eventually le legally do this. Also, Arthur filed another HR complaint, but just give him more whiskey, and he'll be fine. Ugh. I think I just hit an alligator. Uh oh, fence. 
<laughs> Never mind. We, we got through. Take that, property owners. Okay, I'm actually getting better at this, for the record. Okay. I beat, I beat the train. I beat the train. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now I just can't break them off. Okay. 130. Start the mission, start the mission, start the mission, start the mission! No! Very close that time, but Arthur missed the mission start by just a foot and then broke like 40 laws. So when I'm in the saloon, you have to fly directly into the mission marker. Otherwise, you kill a lot of people. So pulling this off is about perfect accuracy in the saloon. Buckle up, Arthur Morgan. Now right, now left. Oh, right in the horse. <laughs> I'm trying to go around the literature. No! Here's a salute. Okay, here it is. 127. Move along. The wall. No, I went out the window. Oh my god, it's like the. Yes! 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 Get here! Alright, so that one was going perfectly. Arthur was almost at the mission starting spot until he got flung through the saloon window. Oh, you can see you can see the trail where I went along the wall, and then I went out this window instead of starting the mission. And look, this window is right next to where the mission starts, which means it's almost impossible to dodge it. And that is why someone suggested flying in the back door. We can try for the back. So it's next to the outhouse. So the plan now, fly out of San Denis, across the hills, go behind Valentine, and fling Arthur in the back door. Here we go. I'm still going up the main road. It's faster, it's harder to get through, but it is faster. Eh. Oh, sorry, horse. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. All right, so I'm like 15 seconds behind, I think. No, not even 15. I'm like 10 seconds behind. This is doable. This is doable. I'm going to go around the back. Okay. I'm trying to turn. I'm trying to turn around, reorient. Oh my god. Uh, you can't turn and reorient, apparently. Oh, there it is. Uh, we're going to the front. It's too hard. How much time? 20 seconds. Oh, hey, go through. Hey, oh, no. shit. Hey, Arthur. Arthur. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. I want you to, uh, to meet our friend. All we had to do is go through the side window. Why didn't we think of that? In a brilliant maneuver, I accidentally flung Arthur through the side window directly into the mission starting spot. So in only one minute and 38 seconds, you can fling Arthur's fleshy body across the entire map faster than an actual train. And now, my friends, you can finally play that iconic bar fight mission. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I can't punch this guy. Game is very fucked up right now. Well, looks like we're all set here. It's been my honor to test and invent a brand new form of transportation for you all. But now, I've got to go. My people need me. Get that man some whiskey.